Black Caucus, I want to thank you for leading this very important and critical uh, conversation and discussion this evening. Uh, President Trump said it couldn't get any worse for the African American community. He asked the question, what did we have to lose by supporting him? Well, it's even clearer now that we have everything to lose, starting with health care. Marion Wright Edelman said, and I quote, the question is not whether we can afford to invest in every child, but it is whether we can afford not to. Health care, we all know, is one of the most important investments we can make in our children. Nearly 12 million African Americans are insured Medicaid. In Florida, 41 percent of children in my home state of Florida are covered through Medicaid. This GOP health care plan guts Medicaid cutting funding by $880 billion over the next 10 years. It also eliminates Medicaid expansion, which covers 1.5 million African Americans. So what do we have to lose? Families, children will lose their health care. For those who do not lose health care, they will be forced to pay higher premiums. That for some families could mean the difference between a doctor's visit and food on the table for some families. Since the ACA was signed into law seven years ago this Thursday. Our community has seen its insurance rate, its insured increase to the highest number in recent history. For a community that has long faced increased barriers to health care access and delayed doctor's visits because of the cost, the ACA has meant the difference between life and death. There is no question we can make the Affordable Care Act more affordable for all Americans, but this bill doesn't do that. So what do we have to lose? President Trump and to my GOP Colleagues, I tell you the stakes could not be higher. Progress will be lost. Progress that took many, many years to make progress could be lost by repealing the ACA. The most vulnerable of people, the people we really should be taken care of in a country that we say is the greatest country in the world. I do believe that to be true. <coughs> People that we should be taking care of, including our children, will be hurt the hardest. Florida has the nation's highest enrollment number in the ACA at 1.7 million signups for 2017. But not only does repeal hurt children, but in my home state of Florida, it also hurts millions of seniors. A recent analysis from AARP shows that Florida will be ground zero for the Republicans' health plan's effects. They found that nearly a half a million Floridians between the ages of 50 and 64 would, place, would face higher premiums under the GOP plan. More 
than any other state. The people affected the most low incomes seniors. So here is what's at risk in Florida's 10th congressional district. The district's uninsured rate has gone from 22% to 15% since the ACA was implemented. 343,000 individuals in the district who now have health insurance that covers preventative services like cancer screenings and flu shots without any co-pays, co-insurance or deductibles stand to lose this access if the Republican Congress eliminates the ACA provisions requiring health insurance to cover important preventative services without cost sharing. 392,000 individuals in the district with employer-sponsored health insurance are at risk of losing important consumer protections. 64,000 individuals in the district who have purchased high-quality marketplace coverage now stand to lose their coverage if the Republican Congress dismantles the market places. Over 60,000 individuals in the district who receive financial assistance to purchase marketplace coverage in 2016 are now at risk of coverage becoming unaffordable if the Republican Congress eliminates the premium tax credits. So what do we have to lose? The evidence could not be clearer.